What is up guys, welcome back to BTEC HT. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to connect like a film burn effect in Final Cut Pro X. So let's check it out. So I went ahead and opened a project on Final Cut Pro X. This is my last video that I made, the YouTube gaming app. And I'm just going to go through and show you the effect first before I teach you how to do it. So right around I have, let me see, there's, so there's basically the film burn effect. What it basically is, is I kind of use it as a transition. You can use it also as the start of a video. So I have one right here. Let me show you this one. So if I do click the play button, so you see, you can use it as a transition or as a start of a video. And I also use it as a transition right here. Let me show you this one. Yeah. So it's a really good effect if you want to use it for like a transition or if you want to use it at the start of the video, end of the video, anything like that. So it's better than the, the stock templates that are already there for transitions in Final Cut Pro X. And you can also do this in iMovie as well. And this does work both for Macs and PCs. Let's say we don't want to use a stock transition over here for Final Cut Pro X. I mean, I could use any kind of center, all these transitions that are going to be right here. So we can use any of these crosses off, 3D rectangles. But if you don't want to use those, you can do a film burn effect, which I like personally. So it's very easy. All you have to do is you go here. I already have it open and I already have it downloaded. So you're going to go here. It's digitalcinemafoundry.com. And I have the link in the description below so you can go and download it. And what this has, it has four different 720p film burns already here. So you just download any one of these, save it to your desktop, and just go through. So I'm going to download version one. Now, these are four different versions. They're a little bit different, like different colors in it. So you can just download any one. I did download transition or version number one. So let's check it out. It is zipped, so you're going to have to unzip it. So you can download any unzipper. Okay, so after you have it downloaded, you're going to go ahead and close the digitalcinemafoundry.com because we already have ours downloaded. And so now you're going to go back to your video and we were going to put it right here, correct? So we're going to do the transition over this area right here. And we want it to kind of look like this one right here. So as you can see, like this one. Now there is a difference between this one and the one that we're going to put up. So as you can see, this one, it doesn't, it blurs out a little bit and it's peaked out right here where you can't see anything. And then it goes back so we're gonna try something like that now there is a different setting for that as well so let's go ahead and put that there so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick this up we're gonna drag it right here on top of the project all right let it render out a little bit now the placement is very important in this because you want it to be right in the middle so kind of give like half of it now this still is a little bit off so let's do kind of like half into one area half into the other area so then it's kind of even now Right now, if we do play it, it's already been rendered, so let's see. If we do play it, you'll notice you can't see through it. So now, in order to see through it, let me just zoom in so y'all can see it better. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click it. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to click Show Video Animation. Okay, now as you can see right here, Composition Opacity. So we're going to click this. Now what this is, it's kind of like a scale so what you want to do is you want to grab these two corner dots right here to the point where they're horizontal and you're gonna bring them in let's say about right there and let's bring this one in right there so what now is gonna happen is as it goes through so you'll notice as when it's at the peak of the animation it's gonna be completely like non-transparent you're not gonna see anything and the transparency will increase Decrease, I mean, and also increase as soon as it goes through it. So you can see. So now let's look at it in a full view. But so basically what we have done is before we had just, if we look at this one over here. So we just had this non-transparent throughout the whole transition. Now when we look at it, so let's check it out now. So let's start from here. So And here comes the transition. So as you can see, you can use that as a transition. So it's a really good transition. Obviously keyframes are dropped, but it's a really good transition and it's very helpful, especially when you don't want to use a stock transition that's included in Final Cut Pro X. Cause like, for example, I have one here. It's kind of gets boring, but it's really new. So you can add different kinds of, there's different ones, like even on the website, I just looked at it and it had like the luster packs or whatever. So you can add different kinds of like right here. So it's pretty cool. Like there's a lot of different things and these are free. So why not add it into your video and edit it and look nice. Besides that, that will be it. If you did like my video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up to let me know. 
Comment down below if you want to see more videos like this, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can get more weekly tech videos. This is B Tech HD, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.